Hi, I'm Susan, Fitness from the Pro, Titleist Performance Institute Certified Golf Specialist. Today we're going to do some dynamic warm-ups to improve your golf game just to help you get warmed up so everything is ready to go. As you know, the golf swing starts from the ground up, from the power of your legs into your hips to your thoracic to that lead arm, and finally the power comes into that shaft. So, with that said, we're going to start off with some ankle rotations. Now that ankle dexterity is very important to your golf game. You can keep the toe on the ground and just rotate that ankle, but I think if you pull that knee up, I think you get a little better ankle rotation here. You're going to rotate those ankles in both directions, and you're going to rotate both ankles. On the other side, abs are engaged, standing tall, go ahead and rotate that left ankle here and circle it the other way. Good. Now, we're going to put that left foot down. Once again, you want to pull that belly button into the spine because that is where your stabilization comes from. Keep that golf club on your left side. We're going to then move on up to the hips. And we're going to start with leg swings. Okay? We're just going to swing that leg front and back, keeping that core engaged. Keep your posture nice and tall, relaxing your shoulders, swinging it back and forth. Okay, we don't want to lean forward. We want to keep that posture tall. Those shoulders are away from your ears. You want to do about 12, 15 on one side. Then you're going to switch it out, abs engaged, and then swing that leg front and back on the other leg. Keeping that core in, doesn't matter how high you swing, maybe you can't swing it that high. If you're just here, that's fine. And you just want to open up those hips. Okay, we're going to be moving on now with some shoulder and upper back work, just so we can really get those shoulders um, nice and relaxed and ready for range of motion with our golf swing. So you're going to keep those elbows against your body, those palms are going to face each other, and we're just going to squeeze those shoulder blades together. You're standing up tall, those shoulder blades, those shoulders are away from your ears, and you're squeezing, we're calling this sawing. Squeeze those elbows together, again, maybe 10, 12, 15 repetitions, and you want to hold and squeeze that last one and you're opening up your chest here and go ahead and release that. Once again, roll those shoulders back and down. Now we're going to move on to what's called rock the baby. So we're going to have those palms face each, palms face your body, those shoulders are relaxed and we're just going to swing. Now watch that you keep those hips stabilized and just those arms are moving. We don't want to do this with the hips, okay? We're not swaying here. Standing up tall, shoulders are relaxed. This is rocking your baby. Now let's turn those palms down. They kind of stack on top of each other and we're going to crisscross those arms, those palms on top of each other. Relaxing the shoulders. We're not up here. I call this shoulder earrings. Those shoulders stay away from the ears. Do a few of these and then turn those palms up, relaxing the shoulders and crisscross. Those palms face the sky. Good. And you'll feel it in your upper back. We're moving on now. We're going to bring those palms together. Now I want you to keep those elbows lifted out to the side and those shoulders are away from your ears and you're going to press those palms into each other and you'll feel some chest activation when you do that. You're pressing those palms in. Now we're going to lubricate those wrists. So we call this winding the clock. Those fingertips go forward and back. Those shoulders are relaxed. You keep pressing those, those hands into each other, those palms into each other. Now we're going to change that. Now the fingertips press into each other. 
keep those elbows lifted, shoulders away from your ears. Once again, we're winding the clock. Loosening up those wrists, preparing them for your game this afternoon or this morning. Good. Now we're moving on. We're once again going to bring those palms together. Those elbows stay lifted. And remember, you're not here. Your hands are away from your chest. If you can see, my hands are away from my chest. Now, I'm going to keep pressing my hands into each other. My shoulders are relaxed and my abdominals are engaged. I want you to open up those hands. You could wave hi. And then bring those palms back together. And then this time, open up those palms so you can see the palms. So here we are. Bringing those palms together. Once again, open up those hands. Palms together. Open up those hands to face you. Palms together. Good. Now, we're going to keep the elbows lifted and we're going to circle those arms. And then we'll circle those arms backwards. Now this time I want you to bring those elbows in. I want you to squeeze the elbows together. You're getting a nice stretch across the upper back. Think, be mindful here. Now those arms are not resting on your chest. Those arms are up away from your chest. Now here we are, and I'm turning sideways because I want you to see, see my posture. Let's get into that five iron posture. Okay, so we arch, we push forward, we arch, we come to that neutral spine. We're gonna bring those elbows up until we can't keep the elbows together. Bring those hands behind you. Now we're gonna squeeze those elbows together here and open and squeeze and open. Now when you're opening up those elbows, squeeze those shoulder blades together behind you. We'll do this five or six times, squeezing those elbows in. Give me one more. Keep those elbows together, those palms come together, and then go ahead and stand up and relax. Roll those shoulders back and down. We're moving on. Let's take that right hand and the thumb points up. That left hand, the thumb points down. Go ahead and clasp the hands. All right, those shoulders are relaxed. You can keep those thumbs up. And now we're gonna rotate those arms forward, just like we did earlier but I want you to keep pulling those hands away from each other. But you're clasped, but you're pulling up. It's like you want to pull those arms apart. Good. And now we're going to circle those arms the other way. Keep pulling those hands apart. Keep pulling, pulling apart. You're activating those upper back muscles. Now keep pulling apart. We're going to move on to what's called swimming. Let's rotate those elbows forward. Now be mindful you're not doing all of this. I want you to isolate just that upper body. Those elbows rotate forward and you're still pulling those hands apart. Hold it here. Elbows rotate back and you're pulling those hands apart but they're still clasped. I just want you to keep those arms activated. Nice job. Alrighty. So now we were pulling apart. This time I want you to push those hands together. My nails are jabbing in here. So I want you to push those hands together. You're automatically activating that chest. Pushing those hands together. Good. Now, we're going to carry on just like we did before. We're pushing the hands together. Those elbows are out away from your chest. Rotate. Circle those arms forward. Keep the shoulders down away from your ears. That belly button is pulled into the spine. Always. 
Okay? And now we're going to circle backwards. Keep pull, pushing those hands together to keep that chest activated. You're not pulling apart here. You're pushing together. Good. Now here we are once again. Let's go swimming with those elbows. Keep pushing the hands together and you should be feeling it right in here. Keep pushing those hands together, circling the elbows. That feels good. Now let's swim backwards. Keep pushing those hands together. Get that rotation. And with these shoulder exercises, you should get a really good range of motion. Let's just clasp those hands behind your back, rolling those shoulders back and down. Lift up those arms once again. Another nice chest opener here. Breathing into that. As you exhale and relax those arms. I want to thank you so much for joining me today for our golf tip and our dynamic warm up. Stay tuned to LWCA Fitness, our YouTube channel, for more golf tips. Also, don't forget to subscribe and comment on the channel, and we hope to see you soon. Thanks for joining me.